Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, I'm back to do some reading. The Amazing Power of Deliberate Intent. Living the Art of Allowing by Esther and Jerry Hicks. The Teachings of Abraham. We're on chapter four. You are vibrational extensions of the non-physical. As you have come to know yourself in your physical body, if you are like most of our physical friends, you do not really know yourself as we know you. Hi, Jess. You see your physical nature, the flesh, blood and bone of you, so to speak. And certainly we acknowledge that you are all of that, but even more than the physical manifestation that you know as your body. We know you as consciousness, as vibration and as an extension of the energy stream of source. You are far more vibration and energy then you are the physical being that you recognise as you. And it is only when you understand yourself as a vibrational being that you will be able to acknowledge the vibrational energy continuum that is really you. And it is really only the only... <clears throat> and it is really only in the conscious realisation of that continuum that you will be able to fulfil your true reason for being here in this body or to truly enjoy yourself in the process. Often people feel disorientated when they try to see themselves as vibration or as energy because they are accustomed to observing only the physical manifestations of those vibrations. In your observation of your world and all its physical characteristics, it is easy to get so involved in the results of the vibrations that you disregard the vibrations that are possible for those results. <clears throat> Emotions indicate your non-physical relativity. I think you pronounce it like that. Relativity. Okay. Emotions indicate your non-physical relativity. Your physical body was born with such precise and sophisticated vibrational interpreters that you are often unaware that you have them or that you use them to define your physical reality. But this is a vibrational world and everything you perceive is because of your ability to interpret vibration. Your eyes interpret vibration and therefore you have the sense of sight. Your ears interpret vibration and therefore you have the sense of hearing. Your nose interprets vibration and therefore you have the sense of smell. Your skin interprets vibration and therefore you have a sense of feeling. Your tongue interprets vibration and therefore you have the sense of taste. Your ability to understand the continuity of who you are as an eternal non-physical being and who you are here in your physical body comes through the vibrational interpreters that you call emotions. Your emotions in every moment give you an indication of the vibrational relationship between the non-physical you and the physical you. Nothing is more important to you than this relationship and nothing can enhance your physical experience more than an understanding of your emotions for they tell you everything you need to know about the relationship between the physical about the relationship between the physical you and the non-physical you connection your most natural state of being with your deliberate intention and some practice you will not only have an, an awareness of your relationship with your non-physical self but you will be able to maintain a constant vibrational alignment with that non-physical self. We call that conscious state of deliberate vibrational alignment with your source energy, the art of allowing. It is the art of allowing the fullness of who you are to be present in this powerful leading edge moment. Whenever you achieve this wonderful connection, you feel more alive. You feel eagerness, eagerness passion, love, appreciation, clarity, vitality and enthusiasm. 
In other words, you allow yourself the benefits of all that you have become to be present in this leading edge moment of creation. It is the optimal creative experience. It is the optimal expression of life. And it is your most natural state of being. So this connection to who you really are is achieved by vibrational alignment. It is a matching of vibrational signals, so to speak, not so different from what you understand when you tune your radio dial to a special radio frequency to hear music being broadcast from a particular station. You understand that if you want to hear what is being broadcast from 98.7 FM, <clears throat> you must match your tune of receiver to 98.7 FM. The frequencies must match in order for you to have clear reception. Although your physical body is not equipped with a dial or a meter that tells you the frequency you are broadcasting, your emotions do provide that equivalent information. As you pay attention to your emotions, you literally feel your way to your vibrational alignment with source. Chapter 5. You came here to create your own experience. Once you make a conscious connection between your physical personality, what you know is you here in this body, and the eternal, non-physical consciousness, what is really you, you can then get on with the reason you were born into this physical life experience. An awareness of the continuity of you, an awareness that you did not just begin with this physical birth, but that this is but a continuation of who you really are, is vital to live in this way, is vital to live in this life experience in anything close to a satisfying, fulfilling way. Another important component of a satisfying physical life experience is a recognition of your value and your worthiness, and you can achieve that awareness through an actual connection with that non-physical part of you. In other words, if you do not consciously realise who you are and manage to vibrational, vibrationally align with who you really are, there is no other physical substitute for that connection. <clears throat> Some try to feel that feeling of void that is present when they are not vibrationally, vibrationally aligned with their non-physical inner being, consciousness, God source or energy. There are many different names for this non-physical part of you in a variety of ways. Some seek approval from others. Some seek that approval by attempting to modify their behaviour in order to conform to rules or guidelines of one group or another. And some work hard to excel in their personal behaviour by comparing their behaviour to that of others they are observing. But there is no substitute for your vibrational alignment with you. Vibrational alignment with who you really are. Nothing is more important than the vibrational alignment or maintenance of the continuum between you and you. For your every moment is impacted by your connection or lack of connection to your inner being, to the total you that you have become, to the you that you were before you were born into this physical body. Once you understand who you really are and you consciously work to achieve and maintain your vibrational alignment with who you really are, everything else in your life will fall into wonderful alignment. However, if you do not tend to that connection, nothing that you can do will fill the void or take the place of that alignment. Sometimes you are influenced into your alignment by observing something wonderful or because you are interacting with someone who is experiencing their own alignment. Sometimes you stumble into your alignment without realising you are doing it, maybe through your appreciation of something. But to have conscious awareness of the value of your alignment and to understand how to achieve it and how to maintain it is the optimal life experience. We call that deliberate deliberate creation. Inner being and your emotional guidance system. 
your awareness of the vibrational variance between what you are vibrationally offering in this moment and the vibrational offering of your inner being is literally is literally your emotional guidance system and when you think of the continuum between you and you this makes perfect sense you are an extension of the source energy you and here you are out here on this leading edge of thought focusing upon some subject and as you focus your perspective upon the subject you offer a vibrational frequency which either matches or does not match the frequency of the way your inner being you sees it for example let us say that you make a mistake as you were doing your work today you discover your mistake and you correct it but then you belittle yourself or feel guilty about your error you use the making of the mistake as your reason to think unkindly about yourself and in doing so you deviate from the loving frequency of the inner you but the non-physical part of you that God force, source energy, inner being, or whatever name you assign to that eternal non-physical energy from which you have come forth, never, under any conditions, feels anything less than love and appreciation for that which you are. Once you learn to recognise the feelings of alignment in relationship to the feelings of misalignment, you can begin to effectively use your emotional guidance system. You could say, I am aligned or misaligned with the energy of my source. I am connected or not connected to the energy of my source. I am allowing or resisting the energy of my source. This conscious awareness of the way you feel is the only consistent, true indicator of your allowing the wholeness of you to be present in this moment. And although others may inspire or influence you, you cannot count on the influence of any other for your indication of connection. There are too many other factors in the lives that they are living for you to depend on them to help you maintain your connection. To feel for your state of balanced energy. Achieving a conscious awareness of your in this moment's vibrational relationship with the vibration of your source is fundamental to your happy life and to the deliberate creation of your own life. Feeling for the vibrational match between the thoughts you are having in this moment and the thoughts that your inner being is having about this moment is what deliberate connection really is. And when you are able to consciously feel the vibrational discord or alignment between those two vibrational vantage points, you will be in conscious awareness of your own emotional guidance system. Deliberately reaching for thoughts that cause your two vibrational vantage points to align is the true meaning of the balancing of energy. When you line up with you, you experience the balancing of your own energy and you come into alignment with the true power of your being. There is no substitute for this alignment. From your state of balanced energy, you experience clarity, vitality, eagerness, physical awareness, abundance in all things you consider to be good, and an exuberant state of joy. This is the natural state of who you really are. Chapter 6. The attractive power of your creative thought. Although you may not yet be completely aware of your vibrational nature, you are a vibrational being living in a vibrational universe. In fact, everything is vibrational. As you give your attention to something, an idea, a memory, a situation you are observing, a dream or fantasy that you are visualising, you are actually activating vibration. And as your focus causes that activation, that vibrational content now becomes your point of attraction. Whenever you think about anything, its vibrational content becomes an active part of your vibrational essence and the subject of your attention begins to move towards you. Most people do not realise that thinking about something 
is inviting the essence of that something into their experience. Of course, when you made the decision to come forth into this body, you understood the vibrational nature of your world and of this universe, and you were enthusiastic about it, for you believed in your ability to deliberately focus. Knowledge of the vibrational nature of your universe is both comforting and exhilarating. Comforting in the sense that you know that you have nothing to fear because nothing can come to you without your invitation of it. And exhilarating in the sense that you know that you can draw anything that you desire close to you for your joyful experiencing of it. When you realise that you are the vibrational attractor of all things that come to you and that you do have control of what comes, your world opens to new horizons. There is no need to limit your experience in a guarded or protective stance for no unwanted thing can force or assert itself into your experience. You are the creator of your own experience and no one else has power within your experience. And that is true for everyone. <clears throat> the powerful universal law of attraction. In the same way that the law of gravity consistently responds to all of the physical matter of your planet, <clears throat> excuse me, the law of attraction consistently responds to all vibrations. Every projection of thought, whether you are focused into the past, present or future, is vibration and has attraction power. Each thought offers a signal similar to a radio signal, that the law of attraction recognises and matches. This powerful, consistent law of attraction, that which is like unto itself is drawn, offers consistent results in response to the vibrations that you offer. There are no arbitrary, inconsistent responses that would make the law of attraction impossible to understand. It is consistent, it is fair, it is always responsive. It is powerful, it is deliberate creator's best it is a deliberate creator's best friend. Your awareness of the powerful consistency of the law of attraction and your understanding of how it works, coupled with the conscious utilization of your emotional guidance system, puts you in the powerful position of creating a wonderful, joyous life. Choosing your objects of attention deliberately and refining the specifics of your focus by utilising your emotional guidance system renders you a powerful, deliberate creator who is fulfilling your intention for this physical life experience, for you are now allowing the perspective of your source to be present in this leading edge experience as you ride the glorious wave of taking thought beyond that which it has been before. Yours is a unique and personal life experience. Although you may know others who seem to, to be having similar experiences, you are living a unique life experience. In other words, as you move about your world interacting with the components of your time-space reality, experiencing the variety and contrast that surrounds you, you automatically and consistently clarify personal preferences. And as you stand in your unique leading edge perspective, your unique preferences and desires are erupting within you and causing vibrational signals to emanate from you. And as, they, and as those vibrations, through the law of attraction, summon vibrational matches unto themselves, everything that you are and everything that your inner being or source is experiences the expansion of that summon of that summoning the non-physical part of you revels in the exhilaration of this groundbreaking expansion for there is no no more for there is no more joyous place in all of existence to be than on this leading edge place experiencing this new awareness firsthand we write this book because it is our desire that you experience firsthand the joy of this living, the joy of this leading edge perspective. We want you to experience the exhilaration of standing on the leading edge of thought, fully conscious 
of the speed of life flowing through you. Future generations will benefit from the desires that are now emanating from you and from their subsequent attraction power. But it is our desire that you receive the benefit of them too, right here, right now. Okay, until next time, take care, much love, bye for now.